Okay, so let's get started with this. Uh, we're going to get this guy open up and um, uh, replace some stuff. So this is my first time opening this particular model. So I have no idea what I'm going to get inside. So be patient with me. Um, before I start doing that, there are a few things that are going to change. So it's going to be <clears throat> the um, 960 Evo that I'm going to be putting inside. Um, it's one terabyte. And um, for the RAM memory, we got the um, the Crucial. Uh, this is, let me see. So there's um, 20, it's at 2416 gig dual channel. So that gives you a total of 32. It should be plenty. All right, and let's see what we got here. All right, but again, so I'm gonna um, try to fast forward some, some of the parts so you guys don't sit there and watch me um, unscrew all these. But um, I'm trying to go through the whole thing and just bear with me. All right, let's get this started. So this looks very similar to what we had on, at least from this end, from the last year model, the um, the 16, I mean the 15 inch that I had. All right, so let's see. Okay, so we gotta take these off um, so we can go ahead and flip the board to replace the um, RAM. I don't know why MSI does this, but well, that's just what they do, I guess.
screws um so let me recap a few things for you guys before i wrap things up because we're almost done here so as you guys could see uh, i struggled and i forgot about some of these cables so when you're redoing this again so we got one cable right here we got one back here so two three four five six seven eight and nine so there are a total of nine cables that you need to reconnect again um to the motherboard and uh, like for example i i lost this one right beneath right down there somewhere and i totally forget about this one so i had to end up opening the whole thing back up to put them back in um and then there are two screws that holds the motherboard itself so make sure you keep your screws on the side so there is one right here and this was one that i just put in and then there is one right here so a good way to remember is they're right by the fan so there's one right here and one right here and of course you want to make sure you tie up the screw for your um ssd and also your wi-fi card 
Um, and let's see. So if you want to ever, that I mean, add more storage. I mean, for me, one terabyte. I think it's enough. Even putting games in there. I mean, I don't do anything crazy like that. So I don't need that much of a storage. Plus, I have my portable T5 with me all the time or anywhere I go. But one cool thing you can do with this, especially having dual channels like this, you can set up um rate zero and get a super crazy fast speed. Um, so that's obviously optional, but besides that that's pretty much it so i'm just going to put the back in and um, we are done so we're going to go ahead and um, turn it on after that and see what we get and again keep in mind the back of this guy right here is a little bit tricky too right here so this most likely has to go in first Just line them up and then push them in. So there is this flex here, which I'm pretty sure once we tie this up. We're not gonna have that. Okay, the sides are good, so make sure you press them all tight. You hear that clicking sound, make sure they're all there. I don't see any gaps, so I think I'm good. Well, so I'm not sure, <laughs> so I actually paused the video and I was gonna turn it back around and get it installed, but before we do that, I don't know if you guys realize, but I missed a part. So after I closed this down, I was like, oh goodness, I missed one part. But then I don't think it's a, such a big deal, I'm just gonna keep it in a box anyway. Um, so, this is what I missed to put back on. <laughs> Um, I mean, there is not much except this just, um, I got a bumper, I guess, which helps with the, um, the flex part of it somewhere here, but I mean, it's good enough. I mean, I'm not going to be too picky, so I'm just going to keep this in a box if I ever open it up again. Uh, honestly, I just don't want to go through opening the back, but if I ever want to use it, I'll just keep this in a box for the future. <laughs> but don't forget about this. <laughs> 